back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you are brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up also. Make sure to ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. I am so glad to be back. I have had kind of a rough October. I have not worn makeup for about three or four weeks. I have not got dressed much. I have just been having a rough month, so I thought I'm finally feeling better, so I want to hop on here do a video, get something uploaded. I do have a get ready with me that I'll have uploaded coming soon and I filmed that like three weeks ago before I got sick so I'm going to have that up finally. I'm feeling good and ready to continue on uploading. What I thought I would do today is go through my product empties. I have a ton. My basket was overflowing. I was going to do a different video today and I'm like you know what I need to talk about these products, throw them away so that I can clean up the clutter off the floor. I don't know how long it's been since the last one. I will have it linked down below so you can watch that one if you would like, but I know it's been a little while considering what's in front of me. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go over some mascaras. I have two Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I did really, really like this mascara. It separated, it length, it did everything I love for my lashes, but it was really, really difficult to take off. The original one one did not hold my curl very well and I have pretty straight lashes so I do need to have a mascara that's going to hold my curl so I did end up purchasing in waterproof the original was hard to get off my lashes and the waterproof was even harder to get off my lashes I would consider repurchasing the waterproof because it did lengthen it separated it was really black it did not flake it looks really nice and it did hold my curl but they were very hard to get off but I have found my holy grail mascara the one I like more than any other mascara I've ever used and I will continue to repurchase it because it is that good. And that is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension. I have three here that are empty. I have a new one that's almost empty. I love this mascara. This is such a fantastic mascara. So it is a tubing mascara, so it holds the curl. It does not flake. It does not smudge anywhere. It is super dark and black. Once I curl my lashes, I apply about two layers of this mascara. It lasts. It looks so good. They're still flaking. It is the most perfect mascara ever. The only thing I hate is that I do have to buy this online on their website. I can't get it anywhere else. I wish it would come to Ulta because that's super convenient. So that's the only thing I don't like is that I do have to purchase this online. But I will continue to do so because it is such a beautiful lengthening separating mascara. To finish up my Jeffree Star F Proof Mascara, I absolutely hated this mascara. It would flake on me within 10 minutes of applying it. It did look a lot like the Maybelline Sky High and the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension. Both of those mascaras do the same thing. They lengthen and they separate, which is what I personally like because I do have pretty long lashes, so I like to just lengthen them, separate them. I don't really like super voluminous mascaras. This one did the exact same. It looked really good on my lashes. It was really promising. It is a tubing mascara as well, so I was really excited to try this. I do like a lot of Jeffree Star's releases, but this flaked terribly. Like I would apply it and then go downstairs and look in the mirror down in my entryway and it would already be flaking on my face. This was terrible. I hated wearing it because I knew I was going to have flakes and I would have to check multiple times a day. I did finish this up. I will not repurchase this. There's something in this formula that just ejects itself off of my lashes so I will not be repurchasing this one. Another mascara I did get in a boxy charm and used up. This is the Dragon Lash. I think it's made in China. I'm not really sure what the brand is. It ha it's a black tube with little dragons on it. This is actually really nice. It has those really small bristles, which is what I like. A lot like the Thrive Cosmetics separated, lengthened. It did flake a little bit and it did smudge, but this was definitely a lot better than the Jeffree Star mascara. This wasn't bad at all. It did last on my lashes really well, super black. It did not hold a curl, which was the, my biggest downfall of this one, but it was a pretty nice mascara. I finished up two concealers. I finished up the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluron Creamy Concealer. I had this in Fair 20 and it was a perfect color. I wasn't a huge fan of this mascara. It was kind of a middle of the road, so it didn't have super high coverage. It was more of a medium coverage, but it looks a little heavy on my under eyes. It creased pretty badly, so I probably won't repurchase this. It's an okay concealer. It had a satin finish. I just wasn't a huge fan of it. 
Another one, this is the Cover Girl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I had this in Classic Beige color. It was perfect for me. This is a really, really full coverage, kind of heavier matte concealer. I was not a fan of this. I would use it every once in a while, but it just made my under eyes look really heavy. I would use this every once in a while, but every time I would use it, I just wouldn't really love how my under eyes looked. It just looked very heavy, a little cakey, so I won't be repurchasing this, but I did use it up. A few setting sprays. The first one is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is in every single empties ever. This is my Holy Grail setting spray. I have this one. I have two more on my counter. I have one that's almost empty already. I love this. This is a magic eraser for my makeup. It just makes everything look so gorgeous. I have never done my makeup without using this. I use it every single time. I really, really love it. It just works so well. Next is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. This was really great. It's the exact same component as the Morphe. They definitely kind of uh, duped Morphe. I do like this one a lot as well. It wasn't quite as glowy, but I'm definitely not going to pay Tarte prices when Morphe came out with it first and Morphe's formula is definitely a little bit better but this was a nice one. A few hair products. The Hask Chai Seed Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I love this dry shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo I've bought. I will continue to repurchase this. I have another one I've been using. It It doesn't leave a white cast. It's not super heavy. It doesn't make my hair feel chalky. I did put it in today and you can see like there's no white cast on my roots. I really really love this. It smells really nice and it's super inexpensive which I love the most about it but it doesn't weigh my hair down or make my hair feel almost dirtier than before. I used the Kendra Shine Spray. I really love this Shine Spray. It was a very light mist. It did not weigh my hair down. It did the job. It was beautiful. I really enjoyed this. I am using one now from Color Wow but I definitely did love the Kendra one. I like that it just didn't weigh my hair down and it was super shiny. I finished up my Urban Decay Brow Blade. I won't be repurchasing this. I did not like the pencil side. I only liked the pen side. It worked really well on my eyebrows. I like that it wasn't overly pigmented, but I found one from the drugstore I definitely love a lot more. But this is a really nice one if you are wanting something that's more high end. The pen is nice because it's not super pigmented, but I do not like the pencil at all. It was really dry and it would kind of tug at my eyebrows. I finished up a NYX, that's the Point Hello Fine Tip Line. This is my favorite liner. It is such a tiny, tiny little baby tip. It worked really well for a really fine, small liner, which is what I like to do. If I'm going to do a wing, I want it to be super, super thin. And I do it about a quarter out of my eye and then out just a little bit. This is perfect. I have so much control. I can get the finest tip liner ever. This is great and I have repurchased it. I finished up a Tree Hut. This is the Vitamin C Shea Sugar Scrub. I'm not a huge fan of the Tree Hut scrubs. I don't think they are strong enough. I do have kind of those bumps on my arms, so I need something that's pretty strong. I normally like to do salt scrubs instead of sugar scrubs. I wanted to try this because I did hear about it on YouTube, but I was not a huge fan of it. I don't feel like it really did as much exfoliating as I need. I finished up the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser, hated this. It was not sudsy, it did not make my skin feel clean at all. It was kind of drying almost, so I definitely would not repurchase this. I'm not a fan of this one, it did not work really well. It didn't seem to clean my skin, but felt stripped, so I'm not a fan of this one. I have finished up some eye creams. I have a terrible habit of opening up multiple eye creams. So one is the QMS Intensive Eye Cream. This is a very, very expensive eye cream, and I did not notice a huge difference in my under eyes. Yes, it was hydrating but I have a lot cheaper ones that are hydrating. I didn't notice anything with my fine lines or with my dark under eyes, so this is not something I would repurchase. I tried the Tula Revitalizing Eye Cream. This was even more hydrating than the QMS one, but I definitely won't repurchase this one either because it is so expensive and I didn't notice a huge difference. One that I have repurchased, I will continue to repurchase. I really love this one. This is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. This is really, really great. Not only is it hydrating and feels really nice under my eyes, but it leaves a luminous finish to my under eyes, so it's really pretty. If I'm going to wash my face in the morning and not put makeup on, just put some of this on, it really brightens up my under eyes just with the luminosity that it leaves. I really Really enjoy this super hydrating it feels really good on my under eyes I finished up the Avant 8 hour radiant renew sleeping mask I really really like this it's super rich and thick I would wake up and my skin would feel so hydrated and so nice I really love this I probably won't repurchase it because it is $95 super expensive, but I really did like this. I did get this from my BoxyCharm, so if I see on the pop-up store, I would definitely pick this up again. 
I finished up my core is a wild rose spotless serum this is a 15% vitamin C I love this this was so nice this was a heavier oil dispensed in a lighter oil and you would just shake it up and then you would apply it super hydrating really made my skin feel supple and looked super glowy I really do love this I do have another one I did get this from box and charm so I was able to pick it up in the pop-up store this is a really great serum I love it a lot it's quite expensive but it's a really really nice serum I finished up the lash serum that I use all the time this is the UK lash eyelash serum my eyelashes have grown exponentially so much they're so long I love it if I curl them they almost touch my eyebrows it is because of this lash serum I have been using this for almost a year now it's not as expensive as some of the other ones are I really do love this and it's definitely made my lashes grow a ton lip mask this is the one wild sleeping lip mask and this is the lavender flavor I use this up I really really love this I liked the smell it's quite strong of lavender I do really like this lip mask it was super hydrating on my lips it felt really really nice I would wake up with smooth hydrated lip it's really strong smelling it's really strong smell of lavender which I liked especially when I'm going to bed I wouldn't wear it if my fiance was home he works like night rotates nights and days so when he would be working nights I would wear it to bed because it is really really strong in scent and he wasn't a fan of it but I really did like I probably won't repurchase it because I do really like my Laneige sleeping mask I finished up the wet n wild this is the mega cushion contour I don't even think they have this anymore but this was such a great liquid contour from the drugstore I bought it a really long time ago I finally used it up so there's a little lid in here and then it does come with a little cushion I loved the color of it it was a really great neutral bronze that I could use to bronze but still almost kind of contour because it was so neutral it wasn't super warm and this was in cafe Osle. this was still available I would absolutely pick it up again because I really really liked it it was super easy to blend I would use a dual fiber brush kind of just swirl it in and then just swirl it on my cheeks and I really loved the formula of this another sleeping mask this is a glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask I did not like this I don't really like a whole lot from glow recipe they strong they smell so strong and when they're such artificial flavored I don't really like that in my skincare so I didn't like this a whole lot I didn't really feel like I woke up with super like glowing or hydrating skin so I'm not a huge fan of this one I did end up using it up but I would not repurchase it just because it does have such a strong smell and I didn't find that it benefited my skin a ton. I used up a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick, and this is in Watermelon Soda. This is my favorite summer bright pink. I would love using a really dark liner, and then some of this pink in the middle. Super beautiful, very vivid and bright. I would absolutely repurchase this again. I love his liquid lipsticks. I'm not a huge liquid lipstick person anymore. I do like just normal, classic lipsticks. But Jeffree Star has the best liquid lipstick formula. I have a ton of them, and I definitely repurchase them. Another hair product, this is Alonza Keratin Healing Oil Hair Plumper. I love this. This did something just so special to my hair. I had it in a favorites video. It just made my hair actually feel like it's plump. Like I would spray it in my hair and my hair would actually legitimately feel thicker. I don't know how it did that, but it made my kind of just my hair follicles feel thicker. I love this product. It smells so good. I would use it on special occasions because they did discontinue this. I find one off of eBay. I don't know how good it is to buy off eBay, but it is the same product as this. Like it smells the same, works the same, and everything. But they did discontinue that, so it's I'm super, super sad about that. So if you don't know of any hair products that feel like it actually plumps and makes your hair feel fuller, let me know. Shampoo that I continue to reuse. This is the Red Kid All Soft Mega. I really do love this. This is a fantastic, super hydrating shampoo. It works really well with my hair. I do buy the big bottles. Sometimes I get sick of big bottles and I want to like change it up, but I always have these on hand and then I'll maybe get something different and then try that for a while and then I'll come back to this. I do love the conditioner as well. In my shower right now, I have the shampoo and conditioner. This is just what I use a lot, especially during the winter, because my hair does get kind of dry. My last product is another hair product. This is the Kendra Nourishing Hair Mask. It's a deep conditioning treatment. I love this. I've gone through a ton of this. This is one of those products that I would use once, and I would notice a huge difference. I would come out of the shower, 
do my hair and it would just feel softer and more hydrated it was such a great mask I do want to get another one last time I went to get one they were out I am definitely gonna pick this up again because I do feel a huge difference one of the only products that I noticed the difference after one use so that is all the products that I've used up recently. It's not a ton of makeup. It's kind of just a huge jumble of things. Definitely wanted to talk to you about all these products. I will have more videos coming up. I do promise I have been sick. I'm finally feeling myself. I don't think I've been this happy to be feeling good in a long time. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.